All right, so my friends, welcome. We're playing Five New Brews for Explorer. Tomorrow's Five New Brews for Historic. Let's pull this on YouTube. And um, I am get the anthology out for Explorer. Look for my my set review on the uh, the Historic Anthology. And what did it give us in this deck? Um, Fiery Impulse. <laughs> like, they gave us a card in this deck, right? Uh, so this is a, kind of a port over from Pioneer. This is the deck that I played at the, R, the Regional Championship uh, mostly. Uh, the one big dif difference, of course, there's no Treasure Cruise yet on in Explorer. So... We're using Ox to try and uh, and do that. And honestly, Crackling Drake and Fable are enough card advantage that like it, maybe you don't necessarily need Cruise as much. Uh, but otherwise, very similar to my RC deck. You know, a lot of cheat spells, Ledger Shredder. This is sort of like a... It's sort of like Phoenix without Phoenix. Instead of playing Phoenixes and trying to like nickel and dime, you just have Crackling Drake. You just freaking kill them in one shot, which is awesome. Uh, Fable and Bridge Drake are both like, exceptionally good. Uh, and this makes more sense in like the non-Treasure Cruise world. Because we can't play pieces, we can't play treasure crews, our coast cards, ghost cards aren't legal. So we're draking and we're fabling. A bajillion cheat spells, fiery impulse is a new addition from the, the anthology. Very, very good removal spell uh, in our deck because we're just basically a lightning bolt. Uh, we got you know spike build hazard, strangle, spell pierce is excellent in this deck as well to counter fables and all sorts of stuff. Shore up, fading hope, cantrips. You get the idea, all right? One beacon bolt jumps in, and uh, this card's actually pretty sweet. It's answer to shieldred. Uh, it's a flashback card, which is cool with Jumpstart. Uh, that's pretty cool. Sideboard, similar to my my RC deck. Uh, Search for Escanta, kind of a cool card as well. Let's just get to the games, all right? Let's jump right into the games. Brought to you by bcwsupplies.com. The best gear out there. Not even close. Paper Magic's coming back, and you gotta protect your cards. Best sleeves out there, the Elite 2 deck card sleeves. Uh, they're like 10 bucks a pack. You can buy them in bulk on the website. They're like $8 a pack, and they are super high quality. Just... The best sleeves out there, not even close, honestly. You know, don't spend like $19 on like katanas or whatever. It's just not worth it. Uh, so check out the BCWs, the Elite 2 deck card sleeves, uh, binders, card sorting trays. You name it, they got it. I've been using their, their gear in all my paper play for the last like five plus years. Check it out, bcwsupplies.com. Promo code GM10, 10% off your order. bcwsupplies.com. Mmm, bacon bowl. Borg up. thanks so much. Chat, coming out, man. Shredder, Bacon Bolt, Drake Impulse. Sure, this is fine. It's a little slow. Probably Mulligan, we can keep this. We can kill an Elf on one. We got Shredder on two. Jumpstart's funny, yeah. My cubes and BCWs, yes. And actually, we were doing your holiday cards last night. You're all getting a sample sleeve. I was like, I have a stack of like, you know, my, my BCWs that I'm, I'm not using anymore from tournaments. And I put all the tokens for the holiday cards in those. So you get to get a free sample if you uh, get a holiday card. What's up, Bonnet? Mulliganing? That's a damn shame. Howl Fountain. All right, it's a fire impulse. Probably not too great here. That's okay. Hand, not great against control, but obviously Shredder can help that out. All right, looks like blue-white control. Sure. I mean, you're going to cast Shredder if they have sense or whatever. All right, cool. Without, if I had to consider my hand, maybe you want to wait one turn to go Shredder plus consider in one shot. I, I, I bought them. Mind. I didn't notice that. <laughs> when I draw that. Uh, okay. I mean, again, double fire impulse against controls. Terrible. I guess we'll just opt. See what's up. We're gonna march it. Uh, I mean, we could cast impulse here just to loot. It's pretty sketch, but like these impulses are pretty heinous. Uh, yeah, I guess we're gonna do that. All right. Yeah, I'm sure. All right. Resolve that. Resolve Opt, Bottom Land, Draw Fable. All right, Fable's good at least. I really want this Fable to resolve. Your tap, your Topanga says, Hey Jim, always a big fan of new brews. Still going strong with Is It from Day One Bro. What number are we on right now? This is brew number two of five. No, we're not playing Monogreen Devotion now. I'm trying to keep, uh, keep the decks pretty fun, so. All right, Land Fable, maybe? Maybe? 
All right, sure. Wait. Oops! Hi, I'm Jim. Welcome to Explore Five New Brews. All right. Now we're playing the right format. Sorry, my bad. <laughs> Hand's still terrible, though. All right, I'll mulligan. Uh, sure, much better. Keep this. Shift the velocity, I think. Uh, yeah, this is fine. All right. Let's try that one again, huh? In the right format. Explore. We exploring. Segia. Off to a good start. Uh, Lana or Elves. Sure. Oh, great. Now everyone's here. Uh, end step. We'll consider. Fading up. Fading up's gone. Obliterating bolt. Cool. It's a different shape, pretty good. You're a fire impulse. A little awkward, but... All right, we're going to actually... Uh, hold on. Let's, let's actually op first here. We're going to cast it anyway. If we, hit, if we hit like a spire bluff canal, we'll want to play that. So I'm going to bottom opt. And draw spell pierce. That's okay. Uh, we're going to impulse here, not hazard. Because I, I, might, I might want to want this as a, as a land next turn. And assuming they're playing uh, devotion, there's no good targets for impulse anyway besides land or elves. So. All right. So say go. Oh no, they're they're actually not that. So that's actually really good for us, I guess. They're just like a, a gruel beatdown deck. So now you can just obliterating bolts in place as a land. Alright. Makes spell pairs look pretty bad, but ideally we just draw a blue land next turn and cast Crackling Drake. Elvish Mystic returns. And Lander also. Okay, sure. Uh, our hero Tell you what. Play big idiot. God, I love Crackling Drake. We can shut away our, our spell pierce. That's the coolest part of this deck is that you can play these conditional cards because you have four shredder and four fables just to loot, 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 to loot them away anyway. So, hmm. Um, do we shred or do we fable? It's possible they're playing the boat deck, so we could possibly spell pierce a chariot or a. Uh, or a uh, a boat. What's Fable? Play Fable, so you go. Obviously, they go land chariot. It sucks, but they only have two cards, so. Here comes Boone, Crucial Giant. No blocks. 14, 18, Spell Pierce. I'm ready. I'm ready. <laughs> sure. This is brew, uh, brew, uh, two of, of five. All right, consider. Mountain, bottom. Love struck beast is rather large. Second spell pierce, awkward. Dump both pierces. Draw land, consider. All right, that's like fine. Uh... We go Shredder, Consider. We all help here, honestly. They've got some pretty big idiots in play. Consider. Connive. Scarred Island. Consider reveals Fiery Impulse. That does kill Bone Crusher Giant, I guess. So I guess we keep that. I can also attack with the with the the goblin if they if they block just like finish off the lovestruck beast which isn't the worst either. Um, all right, let's keep this. Play land. Definitely want to draw ox. <laughs> Cannibal ox. Some point soon. No blocks. All right. So we'll just kill the bone crusher. Um, don't want to play around ember cleave. They're probably not playing Ember. They are not. There's no Gigantha, which is an important thing to note. Usually the boat decks play, like the Isika's Chariot boat decks play Gigantha. So the fact that they're not playing it uh, means that Ember Cleave is more likely. And if I allow them to attack and try and kill this, they can just Ember Cleave it. So I guess we're just going to kill this now, which kind of sucks, but... Pass. 
pack leader. Sure. But I, I think pack leader also lends more credence to them playing Embercleave and not vehicles. So. Attack for five. We should draw a good card here. Uh, Ox, Crackling Drake. Um, bacon Bolt would do it, actually. Love me some bacon. What is this? Damn it! Stupid spell pierce. Um. All right. Think we're pretty dead. <laughs> uh. Yeah, that's really awkward. Sure. Strangles got nothing. Yeah, we're like pretty dead. Uh, not ideal. Not ideal. Say go. We could like jump, try and get reflection active. Oh man, they got it all. Jeez. All right, they actually just have it all. Just three lands, all spells. It's gross. Hey, a deck of angels would be good against. Yeah, I mean, you know, I get it. <laughs> For sure. <sighs> I'm just gonna concede while I try to figure it out. Like, just freaking kill me. Like, play ball crusher, crew chariot, tag with everything. Uh, all right, so we get to bring in um, a braid, aether gust, bacon bolt. Bacon bolt's gonna be great here, honestly. Um, we're gonna cut spell pierce. Uh, it's only good against like chariot exactly for the most part. Uh, I don't think I want anger against them. Uh, they don't have much. I guess like it kills Bone Crusher too. Oh, I'm sorry. They had they had they had they had the other card too. They had the pack leader. So we'll probably bring an anger. No, against most normal versions of the the like the red green vehicle deck, I don't think anger's great, but it seems fine here. It's got fading hope. It kind of sucks. I think shore up is also not super necessary. Um, gotta cut one more. Um. I could say maximize velocity not being necessary either. Honestly, are the Escantas good here? We're a little more of a control deck uh, against them. I mean, I guess there isn't really a card I want to cut, so probably not. Yeah, it's fine. Let's do this. Brotherhood's Ed better than Anger. Why? There aren't really any artifact decks, right? Do 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 boom 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 boom. Yeah, I'm gonna keep. It's not great, but I need to draw land. Do 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 do. Stu says, "Leave this one for my dog while I run errands. This better be a dog appropriate channel." Aww. Is Kern here? I think Kern's gone. Kern was here before. He's gone now. He's gone. I am Kern. All right, say so go. Do 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 Fired that one up. It's very expensive, honestly. Sixty dollars for a freaking remake game is a heinous amount, but whatever. Brotherhood does it plants walkers. That's true. That's true. Nothing? Great. The problem is they have Stomp. Which makes uh casting Fable much less exciting this turn. But I think we still do it because I want to loot anyway and like just just get Fable going, you know? Yeah, I think like thirty dollars would be much, much, much more fair thing. Finish Breath of the Wild yet? No, we never have time to play, unfortunately. But um, we're going to yeah, we're just a fable. We're just putting an ox in the graveyard. Also, we want to draw lands. 
Yes, they're going to stomp it. It's kind of annoying, but I think it's fine. Yeah, I freaking loved that game when I was a kid. When I was like, you know, 10 years old, my Game Boy, playing this Link's Awakening. I remember I I got stuck, like, really, really bad on one of the temples. I remember I was at my grandma's in Florida. And I, I was stuck on it for, like, four days. And I was just pulling my hair out because I just, like, didn't, like, hit the right switch at the right time or whatever. All right, so we're going to discard... Is it both Ox or is it one Ox? Right now we're at two spells together for Bacon Bolt. Second ox is pretty redundant, but I could also hard cast an ox too. Um, I could also spike this one once they can't attack. It's both ox, I guess, right? I think hard casting ox is probably not necessary. All right, so discard both ox. Draw two lands. We get a braid. We have hazard now. Land's pretty good. We just like hazard the human, a braid the crusher or chariot. Cannibal oxen. There you go. Elvish Mystic. Rude. Alright, move to combat. So we'll, let's kill both of these then, whatever. So, kill this. Kill this. Obviously, we want to empty our hand with the ox, the ox here, so. Being bolt's great, honestly. I don't want to, I, I should just put this card in my freaking Pioneer deck. Why is it ox and not like demon ox? Just an ox that happens to be hanging out in some fire. Why Why you gotta assume it's a demon, you know? Bacon bolts for four right now. Uh, and we currently have six cards for ox. We need more than that, obviously. We just chill. They're gonna stomp again, probably, but whatever. Honestly, if they stomp, I wanna kill my own reflection to fizzle it. Probably not. I'd rather make them actually cast the bone crusher, so sure, it's fun. Yep, that's a cow, all right. Reckless Storm Seeker. Sure. I'm going to impulse over a braid, I guess. And we get some beacon bolts. Obliterating bolts. So beacon bolts are five now. Bacon! Bacon, 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 bacon! Sure, Stu's dog loved that. Bacon! Bone Rusher Giant, sure. Yeah, maybe we want to search for us again against them, honestly. We're like almost like a troll deck. Draw land. Uh, we can ox now. <laughs> can ox. Anyone cannibal ox fan? Um, we lose our bacon bolt and draw three. Um, that's awesome, Seth. Congrats. We want to keep both ox and bacon bolts. I have 10 cards, 9, 8, it's 7. I guess we only need one ox. Um, we have our obliterating bolts here. We could like wait one turn maybe for the obliterating bolts. Just like kill their next creature. If they go land chariot though, it kind of sucks. Well, just ox, I guess. Well, ox will exile everything but bacon bolts. Yeah, and the other ox too, which is fine. So I only need one ox, so. We discard... Uh, we draw Shredder Fable. It's pretty good. Uh, mm, sick. Let it ride. Punch stuck on lands, obviously. Oh no! I should have kept my other ox. What was I thinking? Clearly, I wasn't thinking. Uh, what's this card? Hall. Probably it, honestly. And draw Steam Vents. Tilt. Let's go Shredder. Let's go Impulse. Shred. Draw Strangle. We'll keep that for the Bone Crusher. Yeah, let's get rid of that. And attack for two. Where are my Drakes at? You used to call me on my... Branding Valley. Sure. Fire Impulse. Flip Sega. Uh, let's fire up the freaking hall. Go get him, buddy. 
We already have a haul, so the second haul didn't seem necessary. Definitely diminishing returns there, you know? Yeah, maybe for game three, I uh, I bring in the search for Escantis. Maybe I cut, like, some of the rending valuable threats. Maybe I just cut the Shredders, honestly. Without crew, Shredder isn't as good, and then just, like, dies to all their stuff. Play land tapped. Super dead. Yeah, sure. 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 Why does it want to tap the... Alright, game three. Obviously they were a little massacred that game, but um What would I cut for these search for Escantas if I were to bring them in? Hmm. Two Shredder feels weird. Uh that's my inclination, but I guess cutting Fable against the Stomp deck is also somewhat reasonable. Um, Alright. Come on, guys. It's freaking group text here, you know? Um, especially on the draw. Shredder is... Yeah, let's cut two... F cutting Fable feels, feels tough. Like, Stomp's pretty freaking bad against us. They, they, like, left them in, but, like, they are bad. Um, they don't kill anything except for the Fable token and the Fable itself. Let's got two of these. They, they, they left them in, though, so we'll do this. We'll keep Shredders. We also want Shredder to bin the Ox and stuff, too, and, like, fill up the graveyard for uh, Search. Obviously, the people does that, does that as well, but... Uh, sure. This works. I do freaking love Search for Escantis, so. Double Mulligan. Like a fast double Mulligan. Which deck's performing best? Uh, our first deck ran into some troubles. This deck is currently. It's our first match, right? Yeah, first deck was sweet, but like we had some bad matchups, and then we had some bad uh, some bad luck, too. Um. Let's, let's play this tapped, I guess. Carpulsion Forest Pack Leader. It's like kind of annoying, I guess, but sure. We're going to go search. We can go Shredder Impulse next turn, I think. If they have that haste creature, it sucks, but my impulse isn't on yet, so. Alright, that's good. If I get lucky and bin a spell here, I can impulse this. Scavenging Ooze. Uh, I kind of think we actually keep that. We can go Shredder, Impulse, Scavenging Ooze. I don't know. It's like, I'm pretty incentivized to want to just bin, let, bin cards aggressively to fill up the uh, the graveyard for search. Yeah, I'll just bin it, I guess. But I want to land, so I, I'm going to bin it, though. Right, bin that. We draw a Braid. That's actually a really good draw, so let's go Shredder. And let's impulse this. What's up, uh, Taft? We're going to build a Carlos deck for uh, for Stork. I don't think it's doable in Explorer, though. We do have a, we're, we're playing the, the Eldrazi ramp deck next, but... All right, let's guard the Ox. And... Say go. Now we have three in the bin. All right, no blocks. I'm not getting stomped here. And they have a Mystic. And nothing. Top cards, Bacon Bolt in the bin. Let me draw a Crack Ranger. So we didn't draw a land, which, which, which was what I was scared of, uh, unfortunately. I did, I did really want that land. We had a lot of looks for the land, but we didn't find it. Um, I mean, I guess we're playing Fable now. We, we, we kind of want to upgrade the Pack Leader, too, but uh, not drawing a land so bad. Maybe I just kept that land. I'm so greedy. Because um, I could have got Shredder plus a Braid this turn, which is just so good. I could Gust Pack Leader or Gust the Mystic or just Gust whatever they play. 
I guess I could bacon bolt here too. I guess that's worse than a braiding. <sighs> Holding up Gust is like so shitty. If they go land chariot, it's like the best possible thing, but playing Fable is pretty good too. I'm just gonna guess Fable. Play Fable, and the question is, am I going to attack or not? Because if they attack, am I going to block? Um, I didn't block last turn because I was scared to stomp. I guess they have a good stomp target now, though. And now, the thing is that now if they if they want to stop my Shredder, they aren't playing a thing, and my 2-2 my can attack. I'm just, I'm just, I think we're like winning the long game here, so. Yeah, Fable can clear things up. Sure, that's great, actually. We need the mana really bad, so now it's, now my goblin can attack safely, too. It's great. All right, so... Get another ox. Draw a haul. Uh, we have five in the bin. I really like the idea of going uh, Shredder or Braid. It sucks that I want to discard cards because my hand is... Is yeah, I want to get the search flipped, but my hand is like so good that like I don't want to discard anything. I kind of want to go shredder a breed the pack leader. Um, we have five in the bin. That's six. That's seven ish. So yeah, I can still flip next turn. I'll decline. So I can go like this. I can attack, make a treasure, and we'll just go shredder a braid pack leader. It actually might be correct to just braid the Elvish Mystic. I'd say Elvish Mystic, Mystic, actually. Because if they... I'm going to block next turn. If they have Stomp, so be it. I think we're way ahead now. It doesn't matter anymore, so... Do this. Shred. Let's draw, like, a, like an op or something. Land. All right, sure. Kind of wanted to make this thing bigger, but... It's fine, I guess. And we'll play this. Next turn, the search flips. We have Drake plus Aethergust, which is really, really good, obviously. So there's land three. There's Stormseeker. That's pretty good, honestly. It's a pretty nasty turn. What's up, James? Appreciate it. Thanks so much. Doing the dishes? Awesome. Thanks for the resub. Uh, I think we're fine here. We can just take this. I don't got to jump. We're going to gust the Stormseeker, have a Drake and Blade a block. Shredder can block later also, too, so. Uh, let's bin the Steam Vents. Will I do a cube draft? Uh, at some point, probably, yeah. Draw Opt. Flip Saga. Play Crackling Drake. Draw. Uh... What are the odds I find a land off this opt? Is that risky? Is that too risky? I do want to connive pretty bad. Um, I have to connive. To, yeah, I'm doing it. Connive. Search for Escanta bin. Opt bottom. Uh, that was still fine. All right. Um... That's actually, considering the, the impulses, that also makes, that's, that's, that's more outs too. So attack with this. We're going to leave back all the blockers um, because I want to be able to not die next turn. And then next turn I should have Reflection plus Drake to kill them. So I have Gust also. We're going to say go. And I'll hold up Impulse for Stormseeker uh, at the end of their main phase. What's up, Madness? What do you think of Todd's new school project? Uh, it's cool. Like, I, I, I think there's 24, 24 months of magic right now anyway. Uh, they're going to fry me? Man. Uh, I guess. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it's cool, but I, I don't know. I told Todd, like, Todd messaged me about, about doing some stuff on stream, and like, I don't really know if I have how much, how much time I have for that, but it's cool. Um... I'm going to kill Stormseeker before combat. And then we'll just, like, block this. New cards in this deck are uh, the four Fire Impulse. This is, like, the 
the least new cardy of the five decks for the most part, but and elves too. Okay, sure. He has a shred as well. We shred uh, another shredder. I can ox next turn. Like a gust ox. I'm just gonna shredder. Um We draw land. So we can go like Aether Gust this cast ox, have two mana up. We can even copy the ox too, which is kinda crazy. Um Yeah, I kinda like that. It's double red. So let's go this. It might even be Gust Lanor Elves again, honestly. This is a 5-3 Trample. It's fine. Yeah, I'm just going to Gust Lanor Elves. Oh, Shitty Tap there. That's my bad. Whoops. And then we're going to Ox. And get rid of uh, Creatures, Enchantments, and Lands. Not that creature. Shred away. Spike Field Hazard. That sucks. I mean, I, 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 didn't, I didn't tap right anyway, but... Yeah, Reality Rot, you can add it. You have to, like... Um, you have to, like, add it automatically by putting a colorless card in your deck and then, like, add colored cards to your deck. And then there's, Chat told me how to do it. There's some workaround for it, uh, but... Drake counts instant sorcery in exile. Yes, that's, that's, all, that's, uh, that's the point of the card. It's going to get Graveyard Hate. Um... You hazard. Let's attack. They block will hazard. Yeah, we're in like pretty good shape here, honestly, so. Hazard that. Pretty convincing game, honestly. So these, game, these games feel so good. And then we'll just uh, say go with opt and ox up. I guess we don't want to copy the ox because, like, we want to, we want to find a Drake copy that next turn, so. Alright, cool. We'll take it. Game. So, that was pretty sweet. Honestly, Ox does a pretty good job of uh, of filling up the void that Treasure Cruise leaves. And obviously, Drake and Fable do as well. Uh, that's sweet. Awesome. Pull it up. Alright. Shredding. Yeah, that's good. Bacon Bolt's freaking great. Eldrazi's next. Two more matches with this deck, and then we're playing the uh, Eldrazi ramp deck. So, thanks for following. Welcome. Good Lord. All right, so we get to sh consider Shred. Freaking Bacon Bolt. Bacon Bolt's the nut. All right, consider. Uh, they're playing Howl Fountain. Spellbird's probably pretty good. We're going to keep that one. And we're going to go Land Shredder. Uh, okay. What are they up to over there, honestly? Try them. We're going to go just Land Shred Opt, I think. I don't think leaving a spell pierce is necessary just yet. If they're playing a supreme, they're playing verdicts. Kind of sucks for us because we have spell pierce, but shred the bacon away and shred the impulse away. Play around like deafening clarion or something like that. Bottom strangle, draw land. We shredding. There's a bug with adding waste to your deck. It like doesn't. You can't like you can't add it like manually. Blittering bolt. Uh, let's start by opting. They're gonna Dovin's veto my opt. You got it, friends. Uh, sure. Live your life. Attack for four. And just play Vince. Tap. So you go. Dovin's veto my opt. Wow. Like, honestly, it ended up, like, not being that bad. I couldn't, I couldn't play two spells, but... 
Another land. Well, we are uh, we are landing here. That's for sure. Wandering Emperor. You know what we say, folks? Get, off my plane. Get the hell out of here. Take four. Play Pathway. Say go. Beacon Bowl hits Planeswalkers, too. Just creatures. Hey, if this guy had Planeswalkers, too, it'd be sick. Alright, they're going to plus Teferi. We get to kill to kill Teferi with Obliterating Bolt, which is pretty good, I guess. So, uh, Draw Fable. That's pretty good. Uh, let's cast Fable. An Anthology card? You can't even ask to your deck. Add to your deck? What a waste. Kozilek in a Control Shell? Not really. Like, uh, Alright, so we're going to just double attack the Teferi. As long as we deal two, we can kill it with the Obliterating Bolt, hopefully. Barring a, uh, a Dovin's Veto or something like that. Double shreds, discard mountain. Discard. Alright, it's a lot of lands, but sure. Another veto. Damn it. I guess if they have a, a sensor, I mean, maybe if they have syncopate. Who the hell plays syncopate? Alright, that's bad. Now if they wrath us here, we're probably gonna lose. I guess playing Fable first was, was too greedy. I was trying to bit debate bit debate a counterspell. Uh Yeah, we suck. Um, Alright. What do we got? I mean, Hall's good, I guess. I always have it. They have Castle to deal with my Hall, though. Just looking for Ox. Yeah, Bacon Bolt not hitting, not hitting Planeswalkers sucks. Wandering Emperor again. Uh, yeah. Um... I mean, I guess I didn't play around Syncopate. You know, like, I mean, I, I didn't play around Sensor either, though. So I probably would have been right to play around Syncopate, all things considered. So I probably punted this game. Alright. Yeah, we're pretty... And then they have the... They have Castle deal, to deal with my Hall, too, so... Uh, we're gonna Fable. Then we're gonna Bacon Bolt the 3-3. Three, three. They get to, like, instant make a token and then pump it with the Emperor, but... Justice. Oh, they are. They're, they're actually Just Guy. Mm. Uh, Butts of Thunder Raptor um, doesn't count your exile zone, unfortunately. So, when you're exiling your graveyard to things like Ox or whatever, that's not going to work, unfortunately. It, will, it would be better, better in that case, I think, yes, but... Alright. Yeah, this is pretty bad. I mean, I, I just I, I just punted this game. Like, if I just killed the Deferi in that turn, we'd, we'd be totally fine right now, but... Um... Do we want Fable? I don't think we do. This is a 3-3 next turn, we just can't get through it. Let's try to find something better. That is better. And it's definitely better. All right. I mean, we're still super dead here. Like, it's not even close. I would say game one against control is definitely not good with this deck, though, because, like, you're playing a thousand removal spells. Once we sideboard, things get a lot better. They counter as we just concede. Sure, that's fine. Yeah. Definitely not a great matchup overall, but definitely a pretty rough game one. You know, now you get to, like, bring in Stroke, Stroke, Search, Search, Dispute, you know, maybe Hearse. You get to cut all the Fire Impulses, uh, Strangles. Let me get the Bolts in, honestly. Bolt gets the Target Planeswalkers. We also can't cut every card in our deck, so I think Fading Hope's bad, too. So we gotta leave in, I guess, Strangle, Strangle. Hearse isn't... Hearse is good against Wrath. Um, this is brew two of five today. Nice bacon bowl's bad too. What's up, gingerbread? 
Um, like hearse, hearse, strangle, I guess. Yeah. I guess fading hope is not the worst, honestly. It can, it can like protect my own stuff and then possibly bounce a shark. Let's put fading open. Try this. Next deck is an Aldrazi ramp deck. Drops Spike Belt Hazard, just part of the mana base. I'm trying to make, to make our land drops, so. Yeah, next deck is a uh, Golgari Eldrazi Ramp. We also have a, a Mono White Humans deck, and then we have a uh, an Auras deck, a Selesnya Auras deck. Raining Volley not better than Obliterating Bolt. Does Volley also have Planeswalkers? Um, we can keep this. Uh, it does not have Planeswalkers, no. All right, so let's play Hazard as a land. 80 Cajun, what's up? Thanks for the reset, appreciate it. One year. You're great. All right. Um, let's play Steam. Eh, let's play Odor. We're not bouncing anything with this thing, I don't think. I'm trying to make all of our land drops because we have this Crackwing Drake in the Fable, so. Let's take up. No worries, my friend. If Vali hit Planeswalkers, that'd be sweet, but. Opt. Bottom. All right. That's a lot of Crackwing Drakes and a lot of Fables. That's, that's pretty good. We like that. Good place to be. You know, march me. And then the gobs go marching on. And then the gobs go marching on. All right, so... We're, this is just a jam game, I think. We're gonna jam Drakes every turn. Uh, now we drew the uh, <clears throat> the hall. I might actually discard that. I'm gonna discard Land Bolt here. Uh, if we're gonna play another Fable, play the hall. Sure. Let me draw Stroke. So Stroke next turn for Teferi. Just cast Fable and play Hall. They counter the Fable. Great. They don't. Also great. Cool. Cycle Triome, great. You have a nice bevy of must answer threats here. Spell Pierce. And we're going to keep all these cards, actually. I see no reason to discard these cards. These cards are all great. Move of Combat. The one thing we don't want to do is get, get uh, Supreme Verdicted, so we're not going to cast Drake this turn. We're going to play a Lance I go. Um, we have two Kikis coming now, and there's just no reason to do anything yet, I don't think. And maybe we can try and use, we're going to play Emperor. We're going to Spell Pierce this. Yeah. Uh, and then we can try and get a Hasty Drake off a of Reflection that's already in play. What's up, Ross? How's it going, bud? Playland. Hearse. Okay. Um, once again, I think we're not going to overcommit here. We're just going to attack with our 2-2, make a treasure. Probably play Hearst and say go, with the, in, the intention to, to do uh, to make lots of reflections on their end step. And if they have a verdict, I just cast the Crackwing Drake. So, I like that. We're going to cast Hearst too, though. Because uh, if they have a verdict, like, it still answers this. Let's put another threat in play, and then we'll do this a couple times and start building up to our Hearse being able to attack. Like, Hearse isn't, like, great against them, but it at least, like, is a threat they can't get Wrathed, so. That's insane. Like, awesome. Like, two mana to rescue is the best we could ever ask for out of Hearse, so. So they have Land Verdict? They do. Okay, sure. This is fine. So, uh, that resolves. And now it's just Drake time. Draw a Dispute, too. Good draw. He used to call me on my... Alright, so we're going to only have one Drake in play at a time. So, you go. I'm sorry, what happened, Ross? Did I miss it? Uh, I didn't see your, uh... I didn't see your... Your song, Ross. I will check the redemption thing. Narset? 
That's a that's a that's a real jerk move. Won't let you redeem it. I mean, I maybe have banned you from playing songs. I don't know why I wouldn't. It should work. Um, there might be a, a text box you need to fill out for like what you want to hear, but um, this blows obviously. This Norse is pretty good against us, but if we can defend our Drake, ideally, you also have the the hall too, so. Top four cards. Get an absorb. Um Yeah. Uh some can a mod help out Ross, please, even though Rod Ross is a mod. Uh to deal with this uh to deal with the uh, the thing. So we like just attack Narset here, right? There's no reason to fire up the hall because I don't think they can kill this through my stuff. I guess if they have exactly a, a Ganjo, we get screwed pretty hard. There you go. Write me a song. So I gotta write Ross a song. All right, Ross. Um, what do you want to hear? We'll do that after this game. Yeah, it, it's exactly a Ganjo. It screws us here. I'm going to. Uh, I have to. Uh, yeah, we'll stack. Please no Ganjo. All right, thank God. All right, let's play Lance up. Sit back on our counter spells and our Drake. Don't want to get two Drakes verdicted. We have the, the Hall also. So you can see how much better game two and three are. Obviously, now we have counter spells, not removal spells. We can pace ourselves. Uh, yeah, just untap. Draw Fading Hope. That's actually pretty sweet. We can just like protect our, our Drake. If I fire up the Hall on two mana left over, it's not worth it. Just attack. Wandering Emperor, three mana up. So, like, if we let this resolve and then try and kill this, we can Fading Hope it, which is pretty good. Um, we should recast it. Or we can just counter the Wandering Emperor. Uh, if they have Teferi and a land, they can play through my, my dispute. Um, I think this is... Fine. Then, then they have us absorb for the drake on, 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 the way back, on, the way, on the way back down. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stroke here. We also have the hall to deal with the fairy too. So, Ross, what's your song topic? What am I gonna write, write your song about? Test of talents, targeting disdainful stroke. I guess we're we're all in now. These are getting worse anyway, so immeasurable disappointment. That doesn't rhyme with anything. <laughs> Alright, uh sure. I'll 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 try and do that. Alright, so all said and done. We have a five four Drake, a Drake in our hand, and a fading hope. They have an absorbed random card. They're cycle that's great. Good cycles. Uh, untap. Shredder. Absorb. They have Castle Vandros, which you need to be aware of. Now we, uh, we're actually out of counter spells, so I might be better off to just, like, jam the hall in and try and kill them. Alright, um. Alright, I will try my best, Ross. <laughs> after this match. Sorry, now I'm like trying to write the song in my head. Uh, bottom two. We love a good bottom here. Love a good bottom. There's a mountain and a concession. Game three coming up. Let's go. Um, I'm in. Much better. I want to draw a search for us. Yeah, that's what I want to draw. I want a vacation here like 1K short. I'm happy you've banked up enough stuff for the song, Ross. That makes me very happy. Freaking Hall Storm Giants is the nut. 
Jam the hall with stormy giants. Fa la 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 la. That was your song, Ross. That's it. That's all you get. Sorry. All right. Um, game three on the draw. We're drawing search for Ascan to this game. I'm feeling it. Or not. Uh, we're going to keep. It's a little sketch. We're going to keep. They mulliganed. Uh, yeah, just consider. Disappointment achieved. Consider, consider. Um, we just bin this, right? Yeah. Bin that and draw a dispute. Let me draw a storm carved coast. This is like fine. Uh, I mean, if we get him to cast Narcity, it'll be really, really good. Nope. Hall one turn too late. And we're going to Fable here. Like, I really want this to resolve, but I just, like, have a hand. Oh, wow. Res instant resolve. Love it. We'll discard probably one of these Oxen. I guess they have, like, Graveyard Hate, maybe. Let's see what they do here. Definitely want to have the speed up for next turn. Um, on the Hall. I kind of want everything. We got Drake. Ledger Shredder. Five cards, four mana. No double white. Eight Finity Resub. Thanks so much. Discarding an Ox. Might even be Shredder, too, honestly. I want to fill the graveyard for Ox. And, like, I don't think Shredder fits into what we're doing right now that well it helps to bin cards for ox but i guess if i draw a cantrip it's good um my fear of discarding both oxen is that like if they have a way to exile them like a i guess like they would like a hearse or rest in peace i guess that would suck anyway though uh we have dispute plus drake this turn if we want it i don't think we're casting drake this turn though all right, I'm going to discard Bold Ox. Hopefully I don't regret this. Spell Pierce Otawara. All right, attack. Get a treasure. Play Shredda. Play Hall. Pretty good shape. They end step Fry. Fry is a creature of Planeswalker. Uh, all right, that's dead. Honestly, that's great for us. I, mean, I don't mind that at all. Like, Shredder was like the worst card in, like, all the cards we had anyway. And now my Drake is safe, too. And this Goblin just, like, banking up treasure is so good for our counter spells too. Like, Fable plays so well with counterspells, it's sick. Alright, so... Now we have Flip Kiki. Uh, we're gonna play Land, and we're gonna attack, and I think that's all we're gonna do. Uh, I don't want to walk into a Verdict by playing a third creature. We have Hall, we're banking up Mana. Uh, we have everything else but Verdict answered for the most part. And then once this thing's active, we can just, like, fire up a Hasty Drake, too. So, I guess, like, the Oxen are maybe a reason to just play something else here. But, maybe we should play Shredder. Yeah, just play Shredder. They go, like, White Land Verdict. You have to draw the White Land. Have the Verdict. They have Devout Decree. Uh... I could Odawara this Fable back to my hand. I don't hate it. In fact, I think I kind of like it. I'm in. Let me hear that one back. Disdainful Stroke. Love it. Uh, attack Step. Love it. Oh, ads uh, en français. Uh, je ne sais pas. Play Fable. And yeah, I mean, I'm feeling pretty good here. Three counter spells, a high end threat, a creature land, a bunch of mana. There's your white source. Here's your verdict. That's fine. Uh, we get to untap and just crackling Drake, probably. No, no verdict. All right, we're going to loot away uh, the Opt. 
And that's it. And we're going to draw a maximize. That's actually gas with our Drake uh, after a verdict. So I guess Drake's kind of small right now, but sure. We're going to attack. Make a bunch of treasure. Oh, yeah. And now we have like a comical amount of mana. All right, your turn. Supreme Verdict. Oh, this is it. This is it, folks. Who's ready? It's actually only three. Uh, but... Hall of Storm Giants. I guess I just did, just did it in the Hall, right? That's less fun, but whatever, sure. Oh, actually, I have Reflection. I can Drake, Copy, Reflection, and then Maximize their, their thing. I'm gonna, I said I kill him with this, though, right? This is seven plus Maximize plus Spell Pierce. Yeah, sure. All right. And go maximize. It's got ward. They have spell pierce. We have spell pierce. Rending volley targeting hall of storm giants. <laughs> you got it. Jump start. Attack. All right. This next gas. Love it. Super sweet. Oh, YouTube folks, you just missed out. Uh, I just wrote some songs on stream for Ross Merriam. Uh, it was a Channel Point Redemption, and uh, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. I don't know if you do say so myself. Ross will be back here at 8,000 Channel Points. Well, yeah, you got to be here to get the Channel Points, so that's how it works. All right, here we go. We're playing more of a stack. This deck is sweet. We're keeping. Not my usual gig. Milo Ren. Ooh, what is this? Recruitment officer? That's fun. Um, It's kind of awkward because I need to play with Spike Blood Hazard's land, honestly. Die is a soldier, right? Oh, it's 200 viewers doing that. Thanks, Ross. Appreciate that. Um, Double Shredder, too. Mm. All right, what place is the land? Let's we'll see. And then we're going to just play... If they play Thalia, we can strangle it. If not, I'll play Shredder, honestly, and just like play an actual game. We don't need to like just kill her stuff, I think. All the haters left. That's true. We didn't lose anybody of consequence, for sure. Alright, nothing here. Uh, we'll play Shredder. Next turn we should have Shredder plus Strangle, which is great. Mew Mew, new sub, what's your name, where you're from? Appreciate it, thanks so much. We have a Resolute Reinforcements. Well, I have a 1-3, so... Now what? Land. Uh, do they have a Ganjo? What can this be besides a Ganjo? Like, not much, right? I think even if it is a Ganjo, I'm pretty happy with it. We just, like, trade their entire turn and a card for, like, one for one and take their entire turn. And next turn we go Shredder plus Strangle, which is good also. Yeah, I got a block here. What do you got? Called it! Alright, so we're gonna go Spire Buff Canal, Shredder, Strangle. I think we're in amazing shape right now, so kill this, Shred. I was telling Brian, too, uh, that he should stream on stream on Twitch and just, like, play songs and make things up on the spot. He'd be, he'd be, he would do really, really, really well, I think, but he never did it, so he's busy. Um, get rid of an opt here. So, got a 2-4, feeling pretty good. We have Fable Bolt, Opt, good mana. It's going good. Sky Strike Officer. Cool card. And land. So, they get to draw one card off the Officer, which is fine. We're just going to kill it. We'll Opt. Can't play Fable 2, but... What's up, Yogi? Yogi Brown knows. So Joe and Chaz, my, my good buddy Yogi, and he was the, the rapper in my old hip-hop band called Yogi Brown of Say What's, and Brian played drums and sang in that band. So Yogi knows, all right? Yogi knows what's up. We got a Shredder on top. Uh, I'm going to play Bolt this turn anyway. Do I want the Shredder? 
I guess I do. Oh, it's already stable. Yeah, I'll keep this. Keep this. Play Obliterating Bolt. Bring him on for a guest spot. He actually was on stream because we, when I was in Teach Me Human, we did a, we did a, um, uh, a show on stream for one, one of my, uh, one of my, my subathons, and uh, it was fun. It's on YouTube. You can go watch it. I'll, I'll, I'll find it after this game. They draw a card, but I think we're like way ahead here. Um, I guess if they were to play another officer, maybe they can crawl back in a little bit, but I'm going to hold back here. We're not going to attack. Next turn, we should have the Shredder Fable, so. Let me find that. There it is. I'll show that in a minute. Valent Veteran. A little lordy lord action. And we draw Steam Vents. Sure. So we'll just go Shredder Fable. Go from there. I got two reach, thank you. Uh, we'll go Shredder. We'll go Fable, Dub Shreds. Gotta keep Fire Impulse. Heh! <laughs> Can't keep Fire Impulse. All right, we have a four six, a two two. I guess we're gonna attack now, I think. If they play another Lord, we can just like, that's a lot of damage, but I don't know, we'll see. I'm sucking a Ganjo, do they? Be wild. Dolly is a soldier, right? And raise the alarm? Damn. They have their lord here. Things get really scary, actually. Oh, they have the freaking beachhead. Oh, shit. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. Uh, all right. I guess we could, like, double block the veteran, at least, with, the, with these two. And only lose one. Yeah, the three two would be pretty gross. The legend that makes it so you attack five more soldiers. Look at this spicy brew. Well, yeah, one guard left. One guard left, and the beachhead. And here come the two twos. Three six nine. Do I take twelve here? Hmm. What's up, Todd? Oh, Todd, you just missed it. I Ross redeemed my channel part redemption where I write I write you a song and I wrote a song for Ross. It was very funny. Um, if I double block here, I'm trading either a goblin or a shredder for a a, a one one. Yeah, I guess I have to block. I think. Yeah, like we can't let them just pump and deal twelve to us. So losing shredder here isn't the worst or the or the goblin. We untap, we loot, we impulse, and I think we're okay. Raise the alarm's like pretty good against us, honestly. All right, so oh, there we go. There it is. Woo! Oh, Discard oh nothing. Um, fire impulse deals three. They can pump. Yeah, cast crackles. I know Todd likes crackling Drake. That's for damn sure. Draw ox too. All right, that's cool. Um, five nine. Do we just try and kill them all in one shot next turn? That nah, seems a little hard to do. We have the impulse for the veteran. They can pump with the... They, they can't pump with vet and pump with this, so... I think we just attack for four and kill them next turn. Gas yeah, green, sky blue, tandy like is it guards. All right. Um. Yeah, I'm going to attack. Hopefully we don't die here. We have impulse for the lords. So, oh, I could have connived. That's true. I, I should have just impulse now, probably. You're right. Maybe they're still dead next turn anyway. Honestly, you probably, maybe, probably better not to. Because, like, I don't want them to know I have impulse. And, like, that extra one point of possible damage doesn't really change the clock. Assuming I can draw a spell or two next turn. I have Ox to hard cast as well, so. Could have Brave. That's true. That's a good catch, Lone Crusader. That's a card that is new to Arena, but I did not even consider. Uh, you're, you're right. I should have cast on my turn. Brave tips of scales for me. Brave makes a lot of sense. Um, if they have brave I'm, brave, I'm dead, so. I guess they would need to, like, have a land in a brave, or if they main phase the brave, I just get to cast impulse, so. Oh, but then they, then they, then they get pumped with this thing. So, yeah, if they have brave, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. So, 
Either way, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead to Brave. See, even if I killed it on my turn, they just Brave and then pump with a the Veteran from the Graveyard. So, they're coming in. Alright. I mean, I'm going to line some blocks up here. Block here and block here. Oh, I guess I'm sorry. Right, I'm 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 counting these as two twos. They shrink and then get bigger again. So I actually would not be that debrave. So yeah, never mind. Now I'm back on the uh, the impulse on 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 my turn side. Listen, you know it's good to be a person whose opinions can be swayed. That's all I'm saying. You know, people are too stubborn to let, to let their opinions be swayed. Uh, don't do themselves any favors. Why is it five out of two? Oh, it's two or more. Those three. Never mind. I have no idea what's going on. I don't know what cards do. Here's Fire Impulse. Am I dead? What do you got? There's no way they have Brave. They would just cast Brave on red. Just killed me, right? So, or tried to kill me at least. The Negotiator. Is this a standard deck or an or a, a Explorer deck? Have they played a card that's not legal and standard? Hollow Fountain, sure. There's Crackles. Uh, the bad news is I actually didn't draw a spell. So I can't... Um, I can't... I'll raise the alarm too, yeah. I can't... Uh, I can't actually kill them. If they have another raise the alarm, I'm dead. Or another reinforcements. I gotta play Drake here and try and draw a spell. Come on, Crackles. Nope. Alright. I'm just gonna say go. Yeah, if I drew a spell there, I could have, like, connived and pumped this thing, probably. But now I just need to hope they don't have raised the alarm. If they have raised the alarm and to activate Beachhead, we die. But I'm... Just gonna say go as I kill him next turn anyway. I, freaked, I have a thousand damage next turn, so... No raise the alarm, no reinforcements. Thank God. No brave either, I guess. Sky strike officer, sure. And recruitment officer, shred. And I get to dump my uh, my ox. Kind of cool, honestly, with, like, Negotiators and, like, eight Raise the Alarms. Another Crackling Drake, sure. So we're going to, uh, to Ox here. And then we're going to copy Drake and just attack for 100,000, so. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Discard, draw. And lands impulse, it's fine. Play land, copy earth reflection. Draw a card. They're at 12. I'm just going bigger. If they're gonna let me keep playing, I'm gonna keep playing. I'm gonna go for the biggest crackling drakes you've ever seen. Um, actually that kills their blocker too. Sure. And then we'll do this. And then we'll do that. Oh, Bacon Bolt, too. Gotta love Bacon. And then we'll kill this. And then, uh, can I hear... Can, aww. aww. I wasn't done yet! Alright. Anger, Anger, Abrade. Volley, Volley, Bacon Bolt. Taking out three Spell Pierce. Taking out... I'd say Maximize Velocity pretty necessary. Taking out Shore Up. And maybe Fading Hope. Fading Hope's, like, pretty... It's, like pretty bad yeah whatever I'm in we can beat standard soldiers right go for the clean 3-0 with the uh, the oxy drakey deck Branding ball yep it's all in the anthology folks I made a, a set review for the anthology on uh, on my YouTube go check it out it's like a 10-minute video. Just go over all the cards in it. Get my thoughts on them. It's a, good, it's a good anthology, honestly. It's a really good anthology. I would say the 
the highest average card quality of perhaps any anthology ever released. There's like five really, really important cards, and the other like 20 cards are all like at least playable in some, in some kind of brew, you know? Like, there's like one or two duds in the whole anthology. Like, just because Thought Not Seer and Reflector Mage aren't seeing much play in Pioneer right now doesn't mean they won't in the future. And then also, I'm a huge Historic player. Like, so seeing those cards in Historic is super exciting as well. All right, so we're going to mulligan this, obviously. Mulligan into, I mean, Sans Dope. So, I'm in. Let's bin. I guess I'll land or Drake? I land, honestly. No, actually, I'm going to keep playing. I guess they have Thalia. Let's have a Drake. Yeah, we're playing Eldrazi next, like an Eldrazi ramp deck. Um, but I'm not, like, super uh, enthused with the prospect of it. I think it might be not, not be that great, but we'll try it, you know. The thing is, like, Thought Not Seer without Eldrazi Temple or, like, any sort of, like, bonus for it. As a format of 4-4, it's just, like, not even that good of a card. So, here's Fable. It's pretty good. I guess we're going to play the Hall, though. Yeah, all right, so go. We have four fiery impulse. That's the newest, uh, the new thing here. Also, this is like, it, this is sort of the new cards in this deck are four fiery impulse, and then the lack of uh, of treasure cruise. We're trying to play the is it deck in explorer without cruise, like we have in pioneer. That's kind of like the idea behind this deck. That's you know only four new cards, but it's that as well. All right, so I kind of want to play fable here and try and draw up more things to anger. And they might have the counter spell and counter it also, which I think is fine. So it's weird to play Fable before playing the Wrath, but I want to get more out of this anger. Obviously, I'm not playing the anger right now anyway, so. Cool, awesome. Well done. Always takes rock. Take three. And now it's probably Crack Queen Drake, honestly, and try and keep playing things that don't die to anger. And setting up for anger is recruitment officer. Yeah, you can definitely have like a negate or something here. Um, yeah, we're doing the. I'm about to red though, so I can play impulse too. Things go wrong. Yeah, no Thalia so far is pretty nice for us. They might not be playing Thalia. They're playing. They're playing this card and stuff. Maybe some more spells. Crackles resolves. Only an O4 right now, which is not ideal, but still blocks. Raise the alarm. Okay. I mean, is there a reason to play Anger over Brotherhood's End? Is there a reason to play Brotherhood's End over Anger? What's the, you know, what's the, um, sell me on it. What do you think? All right, we'll block. Take five. Yeah, they've raised the alarm too. They're not playing Thalia. They're not playing Thalia. Draw another Ox. All right. I mean, they like definitely have a counter spell here. It's kind of gross, but I guess we're going to try it. We don't really have any other recourse, so we'll just cast this. It will at least grow the power on the Crackwing Drake, and then I can fire impulse the recruitment officer. Jeez. All right. Yeah, I mean, I guess this card's busted. I do like this card a lot, honestly, in standard. Uh, but all right. Um, I guess I say go. I try and kill a lord. They play a lord. We're just we're super dead here. Uh, all right. I mean, this is six. Yeah, I think we're super dead. Not going to bother casting Impulse on a 1-1, one, one, so... I think I'm going to save it for... Uh, obviously, we also drew both Ox. It's kind of awkward, too, but... Um, right, and step Consider. I wonder if they're, they're playing Brave or not, honestly. Let me draw... Another Crackwing Drake. I mean, sure. Whoops. <laughs> that one resolves. Okay. Uh, we really wanted a second impulse there. So we block two, shoot one. We're technically alive. Barring, I mean, we're dead to literally anything else, but. Yeah, um. 
If we drew like a shredder, having an early blocker to block these shitters is like pretty important. And we didn't, uh, we didn't do that. Right. Sure. There's a new card. Bring up the elements. Sure. So, all right. So we'll go to, we'll go to, this is actually kind of tough because like their counter spells and braves counter my anger. Um, do I want like spell pierce against them? Maybe. Um, counters the negotiators. Counters raise the alarm. Probably won't counter brave, but now we're on the play. Also, is it is it reasonable to like maybe just take out? What am I cutting though? Like all my cards just seem good. Um, it just like super awkward because like they're not really playing many like the the rending volleys and strangles aren't very good against one, against one one tokens. I mean, maybe the bacon bolts are bad. I should I like that. Let's cut the bacon bolts. Cut bacon bolts. To bring a few spell pierces. And I think Ox is an important part of our deck. I could bring in the one Mystical Dispute also. That counters Negotiators and other counter spells. I like that. Bring in the one Dispute. Maybe we'll cut the Abrade. No, nah, let's cut the Obliterating Bolt, actually. Trim Fable? No, nah, I don't think so. I think that just having a 2-2 two -two in play is like really, really good. Because, like, that game, if we could just if we could just block every turn and you whittle away one token every turn, it's, like, it's like pretty good, so. Uh-oh. 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 Look who's here. What's this? For your lunch. For your lunch. Well, who else is here? Well, you have to win. I have to win to get lunch? Yes. I can do that. Guards here. Wait, you can, take the bucket like... away. I don't want to. On the play. Look who's here for his daily visit. Here he is. Everyone say hello to Cassian. He's had a nice, clean self and birth. Say hi to Cassian. <laughs> he, he just wake up. <laughs> no, I just changed. He looks face. like he just woke up. He was sleeping. Hi. He woke up for a change. Hello. Indeed. All right, Cassian, let's, let's play this game, all right? We're going to win this game. You ready? It's game three. We're playing against Blue White hair. Soldier. That's my face, sir. That's his hair. It's a, he took a bath last night. Okay, I'm just, I, just I'm, not, like I'm not making fun of him. Listen, between the two of us, the kid had no hope. Yes. we, we all, While we were doing the... Uh, the holiday cards last night. We had, we had Rogue One on in the background. Cassian heard his name a few times. Yep. We were saying we want to get we want to get him a K two S O doll. He's not named after the guy from 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 the, the movie. He just happens to have the same name. But um, Todd says hi, Nicole. Um, all right, so we're going to yeah, we'll just play Ops as we go or whatever. So then we can do it, man. We can win, right? In third path. Um. It wouldn't be bad, honestly. A three-minute inspector, sure. Karn's already doing his three sixties. Oh, yeah, Wait, did uh, somebody say hi? French Todd said hi, yeah. Hi, Todd. French pizza and bagel bites? Yeah, I heard you like It's a frozen pizza, pizza extravaganza. <laughs> Yo, bro. <laughs> heard you uh, like microwave pizza. All right, so we're going to play Shredder here. Um, we obviously want to get it above three toughness before we cast Anger, but like that's a few turns down the road anyway, so... What do you think, Cassie? And what should we have for lunch here? Should we have bagel bites or should we have French fried pizza? Or both. Or both. Both. Why not both? Both is good. Both is good. Uh, I'm going to block. What do you got, friend? Nothing. That's what I'm saying. It's having a 1 3 in play against all the. That was Karn. Karn, what are you doing? What are you doing, man? Alright, um. We draw Spike Field Hazard. We have Spell Pierce, Anger, Braid. I think a Braid Up is cool. What would Cassian's magic card be? I don't know. He's only two months old. His, his, his two-month birthday was yesterday. We're not going to attack. Um, we can, like, pierce or raise the alarm. Something like that. Dispute, anger. I kind of believe this hazard is a land. Just say go. If they raise the alarm, do we spell pierce it? I think we do. Eh, maybe not, actually. We have Shredder to block. Zephyr Sentinel? Man, they are all in on the Flash stuff. When ETBs return... That's sick. They can return the Inspector. All right, sure. Hey, Cassian, hit the button. Hit the button, Cassian. Get off my plate. Hit the button. All right, no bouncing. They're, they're, they're actually kind of sweet, honestly. Just like Flash Soldiers. It bounces the uh, the Raise the Alarm guy, too. Meet of Alt, another new card. I mean... 
This is oh burpees. Oh piggies. Piggy boy. Take your child to work day. AKA every day. Karen, what are you doing, man? Remind me of the Monobu Spirits deck. I mean, kinda. Yeah, they just they actually they can actually go wide though. Sub carbon. Recruitment officer. All right. And we draw a land. I mean, they're still not getting through. Our, our hand kind of sucks a little bit, but we just say go. Again, having the blocker in play is just so clutch. What's up, J-Doom? They're going to Zephyr Sentinel again. We can't stop this one. Um... If they target the inspector, I guess we get we probably won't want to kill that, so they can't get another clue. Ugh. It's gonna be a 3-2 sentinel too. This is gross. I guess it's fine. Whatever, sure. Well, I guess actually it wouldn't get the counter if I Oh uh, yeah, I'm sorry. I should I should have killed it. The the counter is contingent on the actual bounce. That was probably a mistake. Uh, okay, that's fine. We're gonna attempt to abrade this and see what happens. Cause we, if they do, if they cast spell, we can spell pierce. That'd be awesome. No brave the elements on sentinel. That's for sure. All right, that's cool. Am I boring you, Cassian? Crackling Drake. Love Crackling. Oh, that, that was a sick draw. Because now I get to go shock this in, Crackling Drake. They counter it. I spell Pierce. Oh, I'm so glad I brought in spell Pierce. We're so smart, Cassian. We're so smart. And humble. Yeah, to teach, them, teach them humility young, you know? Mono Reen Eldrazi Ramp. We're playing that next. Say it, say it, Cassian. Get off my there we go. Spell Pierce, connive. I'm gonna keep the anger. Ah, yeah, I'm gonna keep the anger. All right, counter that. Here's a Drake. Draw a card. Let me draw. Consider. Excellent. Because now I can go consider and consider anger next turn. Love it. Love it. You waving? Say hi to everyone. Inspector. Cool. How about a Lord this turn, too? Consider. Right, we're, we're, just going, we're just going off here. Pathway. Bin it. Damn. Consider. Connive. Consider. All right, we're going to bin this so we can, we can grow our, uh, our shredder. We're going to connive and we're going to... I would have been firing bolts too. Just keep on just get our things bigger, you know? We're just killing two shots here, you know? Here's Fable. That's pretty good too, actually. We just jam play 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 uh play Fable, I think. Like we're at 18. We're not scared of dying here. The green Eldrazi deck is next. So far we've played Mono White Angel Devotion. We're playing this deck. And we have uh three more decks. Five new brews for Explorer today, five new brews for Historic tomorrow. All right, feeling pretty good here. I'm feeling pretty good, bud. I'm not too worried. Are you worried? You shouldn't be worried. Why would you worry, man? Is that your worried face? You don't gotta worry. You don't gotta worry. I don't worry. A bee, baby. Shredder. Um. What's wrong? I told you not to worry, man. I told you not to worry. It's okay. We gotta just do our fable here, win the game. Um, discard. We can go Shredder Anger. Sure, that's fine. Just the climb. Uh oh. Uh oh. Somebody's cranking. He thinks I screwed up. He say, "Daddy, you messed up." Oh, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. All right, Casey, come on. You can go back to mommy. It's a shred. Oh no. Rending belly, sure. There you go. Ranky baby. Everyone say bye to baby. 
Jim D. Baby Rage in chat, please. Hey, baby. Hey, Leroy. Hey, to Leroy. All right. I didn't see that one coming. Are they? They're they're Santa soldiers. They're samurais, right? All right. I mean, they got a five. We got a little more of a game than I thought. We do have Hall of Storm Giants and Fable and stuff too. Maybe we're a little too aggressive there, but it's five to eighteen. We have two huge creatures in play. We have Fable flipping next turn. We have Hall of Storm Giants ready. So, Carm, what do you want, man? Why are you looking at me? No pizza. Oh, pizza. All right, crack the clue. That's a good place to start. Whenever your opponent starts their turn by cracking a clue or a blood, it's always a good place to be. Reek to desperation. Let's draw Ox of a Goddess. Yeah, I play around Emperor. That's ridiculous. I agree. It is good in their deck. It makes sense. They're like a flash scrap deck, but all right, pump the Inspector. I feel like if I was them, I might have just made a token. Because now if I have a way to kill this, I guess I can't kill it and haul, but... All right, your land. Uh, I'm just going to fire up the haul attack and everything, so... Once again, let me get a little Leroy. Brace the alarm, sure. Still dead. All right, three zero with the uh, with the Crackway Drake deck. Love it. We wrote a cool song for Ross. Went three zero with the Crackling Drake deck. Uh, what more could you possibly want, right? All right, let's look at our uh, our stats here for this deck. This deck again: Brew two of ten for five new for five new. Sorry, brew, uh, five for five new brews. Doing five historic decks, five explorer decks for the anthology. And uh, let's take a little look here. We got a a casting like Wolf Rider. That's great. Very important for us. Let's hop on over to. Hotline Ox. Uh, the one loss here was a miscue. I queued into the store queue box. So we went 3-0. And, uh, and uh, honestly, the deck felt pretty good. I think that, you know, the fact that Cruise doesn't exist in Explorer yet is a huge hole in the format. But I think this deck does a pretty good job of sort of like mitigating that um, with Fable and Crackwing Drake being your top end instead. Ox is great for us. Honestly, Bacon Bolt was great too. Uh, I was very excited with Bacon Bolt. And then I love that the cheap part of the deck anyway. I played, I played this deck in Pioneer at the Regional Championship. I liked it a lot, too. Um, deck was sweet. Awesome. Track all your stats with untapped.gg for free. Download it using my link in chat and in the YouTube description. And uh, Bruno number 3 is coming up. But YouTube folks, love you. Like, comment, subscribe. You're all great.